So there's three questions that come up very often in the global chat for Marvel Future Revolution. They are, what hero should I choose? What region set should I use in them? And also, how the heck do I beat Laufey and both Ares? These are two boss fights in the game that I would say are more of a skill check rather than a gear check. Up until that point, you can brute force your way through the bosses. But when you get to Laufey in the first instance and Ares who comes shortly after them, it's most certainly down to skill how you actually beat them. But they're actually really simple fights and that's what I'm going to cover in this video. The other two questions I mentioned in regards to what hero should I choose and what region set should I use, I'll actually cover them in a separate video. But for this one, it's all about how you actually defeat Luffy. So what we'll do, we've got some gameplay footage here. I go in, absolutely smash him with Captain Marvel. I'm not a whale or anything like that. I'm most, I'm probably a salmon. I've spent about £50 in the game when it first came out and that's it. So we, we don't manage to beat this through throwing money at it or anything like that. It is all down to learning the rotation of the character and knowing when to attack. So let's jump into this gameplay and I'll talk you through how to beat him and it is genuinely with ease. This will be nice and easy. What we'll do then, we'll pause this gameplay during any important section because it is all about learning his rotation and knowing when to actually attack yourself. So this move here is probably one of the best times you can actually attack as a ranged character. So you'll do three massive stomps. If you're a melee character and you're close to him, you will get hit by the ice and what that'll do is that will eventually add chill to you and that will actually slow your character down. You can still actually do the fight whilst you're slowed down, but it will be a little bit harder. So what I would recommend, if you're a ranged character, you've got a move that takes a second or two to actually channel and does a lot of damage, as you'll see the move I use in Captain Marvel does. This is an absolutely perfect time to use it. So you can see here we'll be able to get our, our full beam damage on him. If you are a melee character, you can actually attack after the third stomp. It's not as long as a window, but you can actually get damage in there. After the three stomps, he'll always follow up with this move here. When you see a large circular AoE on the ground, and that's your opportunity as ranged or melee to actually go behind him while he's casting that, and you can do a fair amount of damage during this phase as well. Once he's finishing casting that particular ability then what you want to do is you actually want to move away from the third ability in the rotation and it's four in total during the first stage but the third ability is one where he slams the ground. The game gets a little bit buggy in this gameplay, it takes a moment to happen but you can see there he slams the ground and you get all those different icicles. He follows it up with this move here where he does his three slams. It's not as long a window but you can get one or two hits in there. If you're struggling a bit and if you want to play it safe then you can actually just ignore trying to get hits in the, the fourth move and just use the, the first and second abilities we looked at as the ones where you're going to get your damage in and in a moment we'll move on to that the second stage where he gets quite a few more abilities. So I'll let this gameplay play out here, I won't add any additional commentary for the next minute or so, but I'll allow the gameplay to play out in real time so you can actually see the rotation I was talking about and when it is when you want to attack. But as mentioned in total, it's four different abilities it does during this particular stage and it's the first two abilities are where you will get the bulk of your damage from. So we're just about to move on to stage 2 here, during this particular stage it's 5 different abilities he'll do and then once he's done them he'll go back and he'll restart the rotation again. So the first ability here, he'll do a large AOE dot round him that will chill you and do a huge amount of damage. You'll have icicles that will drop from the ground as well. There'll be around about five of them that will drop randomly. You must avoid them. If you actually walk into them, they'll knock you down. And if you're knocked down once, then he'll just come up and he'll slam you and he'll most likely one-shot you. So don't try and apply any damage during this particular stage at all. The next ability then, it's one that we've seen in the first stage, it's where he does the, the free slams then he finishes up with a massive slam that causes all the icicles. You can get one or two attacks in during this stage, but there's a stage coming up pretty soon where we will get the bulk of our damage.
For this next ability here, you can see that it's actually got a huge area on it. It does leave behind a dot, so you won't be able to go back into this area for a good 20 seconds or so. You may have to actually keep a dodge to dodge out of this due to the size of it as well. And what happens after he actually casts this, this is exceptionally important, he'll do another leap. Now, when he actually does that leap, you need to move away from the AOE dot area he made a moment ago, otherwise what actually happens is you won't be able to attack him during the next window of opportunity, because he'll be surrounded by a chill dot. So after that second leap, then what he will always do, and this is just before the rotation starts all from the beginning again, but what he will do is he will leap back and then he will do a huge cone AoE attack. This attack has got quite a long animation and this is when you actually get all your attacks in him. So what you'll do is you'll use your dodge to actually go around the side of him and then if you're melee or ranged, this is where you'll get all your damage in. So you can see here with this animation that he actually does have enough time to cast two abilities and one of them is a channeled one so I'll do an ability that boosts Captain Marvel's damage and then a follow up with the, the beam attack that does a huge amount of damage. You can see we're back at the first ability again where he does the, the AoE and he calls down all the icicles so from here he'll do his free stomps and his slam, he'll do the huge dot AoE that persists. You move away from that, you get him to jump towards you so that he's not actually standing within that AoE he cast a moment ago. He'll do the cone attack, you dodge behind him and there you go, that's when you can get all your attacks in. That's the best time to actually do it. There's some other opportunities during this rotation you could get some attacks in, but he can one-shot you, so I would say it's not worthwhile doing at all. I would save it until the end of the rotation when he does the cone attack and get all your damage from there. Now, I'll allow the, the rest of the video to actually play out here just so you can actually see it in action, see how easy it is once you figure out his rotation. And if this video has been helpful, please do take the time to hit the like, share and subscribe button. And there'll be a lot more guide content coming up for future revolution as well. But enjoy this gameplay, let me know if the video helped in the comments below, and I'll see you all again soon.